and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first hair dyeing video of 2020 and yes I am going back purple purple pinky purple not entirely sure what color this is going to turn out but yeah obviously you guys can see from the thumbnail that I'm dyeing my hair and I'm so excited I've been blondy kind of icy greeny on the ends for like over a month now and I mean, I've got to be honest with you, I've actually really, really loved it. Um, I've experimented with hair extensions and clipping ponytails, and I've actually really loved being blonde, but I do miss having a bit of colour in my life. So, we are going back purple. I kind of looked at my hair colours at the end of 2019, throughout the whole year, and I was like, do you know what, I actually really miss my summer hair which I had a really beautiful like lilac-y bob really blunt cut bob my hair's a little bit longer than that right now but it's fine so yeah so that's what I'm going to do I've got a couple of colours I've got crazy colour hot purple crazy colour lavender crazy colour peachy coral and I've also got the colour psycho semi-permanent hair colour cream in wild rouge now I'm going to make my own colour I've never really done anything like this before I've mixed my own colour out of like so many different colours. So we're gonna see how it goes. Um, I basically wanna try and get more of a reddy pinky purple than a bluey purple because I've got these green undertones and if you look at a colour wheel, then red cancels out green. So I'm kind of hoping that when this look fades, it will fade to a kind of blondy grey silver colour and the green will be gone. For the next time I dye my hair because I just want to get rid of this undertone. So yeah, fingers crossed it works out okay. Let's get straight into it. Let's stop chatting now. Now I've got all my colours in the bowl but I feel like it's going to be quite a dark colour and I don't really want it to be so I'm going to add in some of the Amica Colour Lock conditioner just to lighten the shade. Right guys, I've made this really, really nice purple. Now it's got so much conditioner in it, so I don't know if it's really going to come out this colour, I'm not entirely sure, but we're just going to go with it because I quite like the colour. Yeah, cute. Let's get going. Right guys, the dye is on. I'm actually really loving the shade of purple that it's gone. I think this is gonna look so nice when it fades. Mm. Right, gloves are off. I'm gonna leave this on for about half an hour, wash it out, I will blow dry my hair and come back when, <clears throat> what is going on with my voice? I will come back when my hair is all dried and I will, hmm, should I style it and then just come back? Yeah, I think I will wash it out, blow dry it, style it, and then just come back and show you the finished look. Fingers crossed, it looks okay. Guys, I'm back. This is my finished look. What do we think of my new hair? I'm loving it. So, so nice. 
It's a little bit greasy still because obviously I put so much conditioner into the mixture. So I don't think it really washed out very well. And my hair's gonna a little bit greasy now, but it's fine. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the color. It's a little bit streaky, a little bit patchy, but I do find that when you dilute hair dyes down, semi-permanent hair dyes down with conditioner, it does go a little bit streaky and patchy. Um, but I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I think it kind of adds a bit of texture to the hair because we've got a couple of like little darker patches, lighter streaks. But also I do find that after a couple of washes, your hair kind of manages to sort itself out and all, it kind of goes more one tone. Uh, but I'm really pleased with it. It's definitely a bit more of a bluey purple than the ready purple that I'd hoped for. So I don't know how this is going to fade. I kind of hope it is going to go like a silvery grey blonde. Just so it's a nice base for when I dye my hair again. But we shall see. Um, yeah, obviously if you want to keep up to date with the fading progress. Then just come and follow me on Instagram because you'll be able to see. Um, yeah. I'm really pleased with it though. I think it looks really, really nice. I love the colour. Like it does remind me of the colour that I had last summer. It's definitely purple. Yeah, loving this whole purple vibe. What do you guys think of this new look? I would love to hear. Please leave your comments below. Also, I've got a cute shirt to match my new hair. Love this. I think this is from Nasty Girl, so I'll pop a link below if you want to check out the shirt as well. Um, oh, as I'm here, I actually used a new lip product today. It is the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick in shade 02. And it's basically just like a little pencil and you've got a little sharpener on the end just to sharpen the lipstick. But yeah, I love this colour. So beaut. So I'll put a link below to this as well if you want to check that out. Um, I think there's like 10 new shades. I'm not sure, but yeah. Check it out if you want to know where my lipstick is. And um, yeah, I'm really, really loving this new colour. First hair dye look of 2020, guys. I wonder how many times I'm going to dye my hair this year. Hello. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, peace out.